afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Eileen Jeanette. I'm the Senior Vice President of Artistic Planning and Production for Pacific Symphony. I've been with Pacific Symphony for 14 and a half years, and it is my distinct pleasure to be able to uh, speak today to Richard Kaufman, who is our Principal Pops Conductor and has been our Principal Pops Conductor since well before I showed up here, since 1990. So good afternoon, Richard, how's it going? Hi, Eileen, it's good to see you. Uh, I mean, this is so strange. We usually see each other in person, you know, at the, at the concert hall. So this is sort of like, a, you know, entering a, a whole new uh, kind of communication. Yes, truly. Normally, I run into your dressing room and give you a big, huge hug every time I see you. So I've, I'm giving you a big, huge hug from my, my home in Aliso Viejo, and I, you know, wish I could I, be I next to you. I remember hugging someone, I think it was about four months ago. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions and and have our folks here get to know you a little bit better and know about your your history with Pacific Symphony. And um, honestly, just to start with, I'm just wondering how you are doing um, during this pandemic. Are you isolating at home? Like, what are you doing? How's your family doing? Uh, we're doing great, and like everybody else, we're getting through it. We will get through it. And uh, there's, uh, there are a lot of people um, who have uh, suffered a great deal, a lot of, a lot of tragedy, uh, illness, uh, people changing their lifestyles. Um, of course, the, the world of concert presentations, uh, it's like a house of cards that all went whoosh. And, you know, conductors are no, are, no conductors are waving their arms. And, uh, you know, people aren't singing together in choruses and orchestras aren't on stage and audiences don't get to come to the concert hall. So that is a great sadness for everyone. But um, we're, we're doing fine. My wife, Gail, and I, we, uh, we really like each other. And uh, so uh, this has been a, a, a wonderful opportunity, you know, to, to be together and all that sort of thing, like a lot of people. And we're so blessed where we live uh, up here in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, beautiful environment, and um, our hearts go out to people who, you know, live in uh, cities living so close together in New York. We have so many family and friends, uh, some of whom have been affected medically, but, uh, you know, thank God are doing better. So, uh, you know, we're, we're doing fine, and, uh, and we'll, we'll get through it. It's, you know, it's a real challenge, and people are probably stepping back and finding out things about their lives that maybe they hadn't maybe noticed that'll uh, make their lives better going forward. So I'm um, wondering if you have developed any new habits or skills uh, during this uh, this pandemic, like so many people have. I've been baking like a crazy lady. So what have you been doing? Yes, you are the pie lady now, I understand. Uh, I actually made fried chicken for the first time. Uh, I've watched so many episodes of Andy Griffith and Aunt B has been my culinary hero for so long and I decided this is it. And so several weeks ago, I made fried chicken. Gail is still cleaning up the kitchen from that. Uh, it, it really turned out well. I, I mean, the reviews were in and since my wife never wants to hurt my feelings, so she said she really liked it and, uh, and it went well. But you know, it's just um, having a chance, I, I think, a lot more to be introspective and sort of, we have a beautiful backyard, thank God. And, and so I sit out there and, uh, you know, count the roses and, <laughs> and all of that. And, uh, uh, but as far as other habits, not really. Uh, staying in touch with people by phone and uh, email and FaceTime and uh, Hard to imagine if this had happened, I'm sure everybody has thought this, you know, 40, 30, 40 years ago, where we didn't have the opportunity of communication that we have. And um, uh, people are teaching classes at school. My cousin teaches at the University of Vermont, and he was telling me he, has, he teaches the classes, he has guest speakers. So uh, we're pretty innovative people, and uh, we're finding a way through this. And Gail and I are, you know, we'll get out and take a drive, you know, uh, during the week every so often and go and walk on the beach somewhere and uh, just, you know, enjoy life as it is and look forward to getting back to life, uh, you know, as we sort of knew it, <laughs> you know, whenever that happens. So 
you spoke about innovation and I'm just wondering what any of your thoughts might be on the arts community, right? You know, you were supposed to be with us like multiple times this spring and we haven't been able to produce those concerts. And um, I'm just wondering what you feel the arts community, specifically Pacific Symphony, the orchest orchestral field can do to stay in touch with, um, with our many family members that we miss so badly during this, this really um, quiet time in our lives. I think people are, are doing that. I think they're, as, we, as I said, phone, email, FaceTime, Zoom conferences, uh, Zoom family get-togethers. I've heard about more birthdays celebrated with Zoom and entire families all over the country together. Uh, and uh, just staying in touch and reaching out to people uh, um, and being positive. Um, it's a tough time. I mean, we're going through something that nobody ever thought we would go through, and it's very sad. Um, you know, as my agent said, uh, he's become a dear friend, and he's just a, a wonderful person and a great agent manager. And um, he said, if anybody hasn't cried at some point during this time, they probably don't understand what's really going on with, you know, with people's lives. And so our hearts go out to people, and I think they're just staying in touch with people and helping, you know, uh, people to feel when they get down that there is a positive voice. We all get down, you know, I mean, and uh, there are days we just shake our heads and says, what the heck happened? You know, did you get the license number of that truck? Uh, and, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, I walk every morning. I go for about a five-mile walk through the hills of Encino and uh, usually about 5.30 or 6 and nobody's there except me and the birds and uh, it's, it's lovely. So I, I have a lot of time, you know, to think about it and to pray and to, uh, you know, just kind of think about things. And uh, one word is, it keeps going through my mind, well, a number of them, but acceptance, uh, optimistic, all sorts of things that we can do for ourselves and for other people. Uh, I think it's really, really, really important. And uh, I mean, it's important whether or not we're in this or not. But now especially, there are people who are hurting uh, and, um, and everybody is. So we just, we're all in this together, you know.